after the cancellation of last year's event, this year, the city of Fort Lauderdale decided they're celebrating. And so on Saturday, March 13th, 2,000 runners turned up for the 8th annual Shamrock Run. It's a four mile long race to celebrate all things green and St. Patrick's Day. The event was open to runners of all ages, sizes, and even some furry friends. Like many runners, Ethel Belair signed up for the race last year, but it was canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic. This year, she's grateful to be running. The weather was nice, the people were nice cheering us on as we ran. We saw some of my friends along the way. I'm like, hey, you got this, and they pushed me on, I pushed them. Just run to have fun. The race normally has 4,500 people, but was capped at 2,000 this year and completely sold out. It is one of three Shamrock events held nationwide, but it is the only one taking place this year. With the event being canceled in both Georgia and Tennessee, organizers took precautions to keep runners safe. Everybody had to wear a mask up until the start. They started the event. They came back, they had to put their mask on. It's, it's pretty controlled. Our medals, our finisher medals are sealed in plastic and they're being given out by the volunteers as opposed to you just going and taking them. Runners were also released in waves of 20 and participants made a conscious effort to abide by social distancing guidelines. Today's one year from the COVID virus. You know, we take, put our masks on, six, six feet, 10 feet sometimes. And while the pandemic has changed the way that people celebrate, it has not stopped people from keeping up the green tradition. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Sydney Boyo.